okay guys we have to learn how to find the distance of a point from a line i will be doing this by taking a question from the past papers so i have a question here from june 06 okay so but the question says that there there are two points a and b which have the position vectors relative to the origin or suppose here is the the uh, yum, yum. there is the origin o over here we can take this o anywhere okay so we have the point a so this uh, there is o a like say uh, here is the point a okay which is um, minus 1 3 5 this is the oa and then there is a point b let me take it here this is um this point b is 3 minus 1 minus 4 okay this is 3 minus 1 minus 4 okay it says the line l passes through a and is parallel to ob okay so there is a line which is passing through the point a and is parallel to OB. So if I have OB like this, suppose this is the OB over here, or like this, okay? So then I'll have to have a line like this, something like this, okay? So uh, this is the OB and this is the line L, and they are parallel to each other. The line L is passing to the point A and is parallel to OB. So guys, you see that this point B, the position vector of B is going to be taken as a direction vector. Now, can I quickly write the equation of this? Uh, it says state the vector equation of the line L. So we can do that without any working because you know, the equation of a line, we know that that is written as uh, R is equal to A plus lambda B where A is a point on uh, the line. So we can take this point A over here as a point on the line. So this is gonna be R equal to uh, minus one, three, five, plus lambda into, this is the direction of the line or a direction parallel to the line. So we are given that the line L is in the direction parallel to this OB. So I can take this OB as my direction vector here. This is gonna be three minus one minus four. So this is the line. Uh, L's equation, okay? Now it says find the position vector of N. Uh, like it says the point N is the foot of the perpendicular from B to L. So if this is B, so I draw a perpendicular from B to this line L. So here is this N, which is the foot of the perpendicular from the point B to the line L. Now suppose if the question was that find the perpendicular distance uh, find the distance from B to the line L, we still have to draw this B and ourselves, okay? We, we, we could suppose this point is N over here, okay? So when we say the distance between, this distance um, basically means the perpendicular distance, okay? So the distance of B from the line L. Obviously, this distance cannot be a, a random, like, like this distance or this distance or maybe this distance over here, okay? So this has to be a perpendicular distance, okay? Now, from now on, the method starts that how to find the distance of a point from a line, okay? So uh, this question gives us a hint that uh, there is this N is the foot of the perpendicular from B to L. So this has basically facilitated us by telling us that there is N, the foot of the perpendicular from B to this uh, line L, okay? Now, uh, we have to find the position vector of N. That is what the, this question says, okay? And we have to show that the distance B N is three. This is my today's topic that how to show that this distance is three, how to find this distance of a point from a line. In any case, you will have to suppose that this point N over here is minus one plus three lambda, three minus lambda, and this is five minus four lambda. Do you have any idea how did I write this point N over here? Hmm? So you converted the R into uh, the- It's parametric equation. Basically, uh, if I take you back down memory lane in your O-levels, uh, when you were given that, look, 
there is a line whose equation is, let's say, this is y, oh, let me write it here, uh, somewhere here, okay. y is equal to 2x plus 3. And suppose you have to check that if a point 1 comma 7 lies on this equation, on this line or not, okay. So what will you do that then? you will be uh, putting this point into this equation. You will get that one is equal to uh, five, okay? So since this is not, they are not equal. So that means this point does not lie on this uh, line, okay? I have gone a bit off the topic. Basically um, to the previous group, I also told them that how to determine if a point lies on a line in, in vectors, okay? Now suppose, uh, so, so, so for just for, 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 a, for two, three, five minutes, you just forget that what we were doing. I have to tell you by the way, like while going towards this, uh, finding the distance that, suppose you have to, uh, you're given a point, which is let's say the point is three, five and minus two, okay? And you have to check that if this point lies on this line or not, okay? So this line has three parametric equations. This is x equal to minus one plus three lambda. Then y is equal to three minus lambda. And then z is equal to five minus four lambda. And this is a point given to you. That means this is your x, this is your y, and this is your z. You can put your x as three into this equation as you are putting your x one into this equation, okay? So when you put your x three into it, you will be getting three is equal to minus one plus three lambda. And you will get that three lambda is equal to four and your lambda is equal to four over three, okay? Now, if you put your y as five, and lambda is four over three, then both of these two equations should be satisfied. If any one of these two equations is not satisfied, that would mean that this given point does not lie onto the, the line with this equation, R equal to blah, 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 okay? But well, let's put that into this Y. So Y is five, if a question mark, and then three minus four over three. This is clearly not, they are not equal to each other. So that means this point does not lie onto this lines. Uh, this line, I mean, whose equation is this, okay? So now coming back to this topic. So Bacho, uh, uh, indirectly, while going to, the, to, to this topic, I have told you how to verify if a point lies on a line or not, okay? Now coming back to this uh, solution over here. So this point, and since this lies on this line, so from this uh, equation, we have taken out these uh, parametric equations, this X, this Y, and this Z. So this is in general, the X coordinate minus one plus three lambda. This is the Y coordinate, and this one is a Z coordinate. The value of lambda would tell us exactly that what this point N is. We will be substituting that value of lambda over here to get this point N. Now, how to get to this lambda over here? Is there anything, any information that we can use to determine the value of lambda? Yes, Bacho? Hmm? Anyone? Hmm? Okay, then I tell you. Uh, I will be telling you then, okay? Now you see that you people are clear that this B and look at this right angle over here. Can I say that B and the direction vector B and is perpendicular to the direction vector of the line? Yes. Bolo yaar. This B yes, and is perpendicular to this line. Now, if they are perpendicular, can I say that the B and direction vector dot this three minus one minus four should be equal to zero. Yes. Yes, sir. So now let's perform this dot product here. Minus one plus three lambda, three minus lambda, five minus four lambda dot 
3 minus 1 minus 4 that is equal to um, 0. Let me write it here. This is going to be 9 lambda. Please keep an eye on my working. I, I might make a mistake here. Plus lambda minus 3 plus 16 lambda minus 20. And that is equal to 0. OK, this is 25 plus, yeah, this is 26 lambda. And uh, yeah, this is 20 and this is 26. Yes, this is minus 26. That is equal to 0. So we have lambda equal to 1. We have lambda equal to 1. Yes, Vichyo? Lambda is equal to 1. Yes, sir. If you put that lambda into this ON, which was um, this ON over here is minus 1 plus 3 lambdas. This is minus 1 plus 3. 3 minus 1. And then this is 5 minus 4. Okay. So Where isn't it BN? Oh, 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 this was BN? Yes, it's BN. It is BN? And then what is ON? This is ON. Uh, come on, yaar. I made a mistake here. I didn't find BN. Oh, you see, that was a mistake. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's find. Let us find this BN first. Oh, I made a mistake here. I was telling that keep an eye on my working, okay? This this is ON. So we should have BN with us before we find this, okay? This happens, you see. This is BN is going to be ON minus OB. So ON is um, minus 1 plus 3 lambda, 3 minus lambda, 5 minus 4 lambda, and minus OB. Uh, this is 3 minus 1 minus 4. So, so this. How do we know ON is this? Uh, we have told you better because ON, N is on the line L. Okay. So this is in general. In general, you can take any point on the line with, with the coordinates in terms of lambda. So uh, a, spe a specific value of lambda would tell you that what is that point actually, where it is located, okay? So we, we are not clear right now that what is this lambda. So we're going to find that lambda using the fact that Bn is perpendicular to this line L, and we'll use that dot product to determine that value of lambda, okay? So this is going to be, Bn is going to be 9 lambda minus 3. This is, so oh, come on, I'm multiplying them. This is, uh, um, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Okay, uh, so this was, uh, this is um, three lambda minus four, okay? And this one is four minus lambda. And this one is nine minus, please check this working guys, okay? There shouldn't be any mistake now. 3 lambda minus 4, 4 minus lambda, 9 minus 4 lambda dot. This 3 minus 1 minus 4 should be equal to 0. So here we go. This is going to be 9 lambda minus 12, minus 4 plus lambda, minus 36 plus 16 lambda. That is equal to 0. So we have 9 plus 1, 10 plus 16. This is 26 lambda minus 12 minus 16. Oh, yes, this is going to be 52. So this lambda is going to be 2. Yes, this is 2. Okay. This is the correct value of lambda over here. If you put that into your ON, you will get the position vector of N. So this ON is going to be, um, this is minus 1 plus 6 it is going to be five. Three minus two, it is going to be one. Five minus eight, it is going to be minus three. So this is your point N, okay? Now we have to find, we have to show that this BN, that is equal to three. 
bn. So I'll be putting the value of lambda into this bn over here, okay? So this bn is going to be, this bn, bn, let me write it down here. This bn is going to be six minus four, this is two, four minus two is two, and nine minus eight is one. You see, this is one of those typical vectors that I told you. So the magnitude of Bn is clearly equal to three. Okay, so let me give you a, a recap of this. Now the recap is that we had to find this distance of this point B from this line L, okay? First of all, you will assume a point N, which, which has to be a foot of the perpendicular from this given point onto this line. You will be using this equation over here, okay? And you will write the, the position vector of this point N in terms of lambda, because we do not know what is the value of lambda, but we know that this point N is on this line. So this is the X, this one is X, this one is Y, and this one is Z, okay? Then we find the BN, the vector BN, because we have to use the fact that BN and the direction vector of this line, they are perpendicular to each other. So we have to use this fact that they are both perpendicular to each other. We perform this dot product and we get the lambda. If you put this lambda into this, you get the position vector of this point N. If you put that into this N, you get the BN, and then you can determine the distance. Now it's your turn. Please ask me if there is any problem. So if you have no question, that means you have understood this. You must try this question again. And uh, let me save this, let me clear this. And then uh, once you have done this, so um, you should be, um trying let me show you the question that you, you should be trying to do this question again and then you must be doing these questions uh question number six and seven from the book okay so first you try this question again and then you do these questions from the book okay thank you very much